Mary had a little man. La, la, la. We believe that all men are created equal. The magnificent mosaic that is America. From radio beacon to radio beacon. I have a dream. Change has come to America. Believe me. Help is on the way. Knock, knock. Who's there? Hey. It's a figment of your imagination. Randy Road Show. Turn up your mind. For the weekend, Donald Trump once again said he wants to be a dictator, but only on his first day in office. You know why I wanted to be a dictator? Because I want a wall, right? I want a wall, and I want to drill, drill, drill. That's Some of Trump's lie. Republican supporters have dismissed the comments as a joke. But Trump went on to promise to use the power of the presidency to go after his political opponents, including threatening prosecution, saying it is justified because he now faces multiple indictments. They've opened up a Pandora's box, and I only can say to Joe is, be very careful what you wish for. As Trump allies outline specific plans for retribution in a second Trump term, one Trump ally recently saying journalists will be targeted too, the Trump campaign has pushed back, saying no proposal should be considered official unless it comes directly from Trump or his campaign. As Trump builds his campaign around calls for retribution and revenge, former Republican Congresswoman Liz Cheney is calling him a threat to American democracy who must be stopped. There's a lot that has to be done to begin to rebuild the Republican Party, potentially to build a new conservative party. But in my view, that has to wait until after the 2024 election because our focus has got to be on defeating Donald Trump. I mean, the guy is standing there on a stage in New York, okay, of all places, in a tuxedo, telling you that he wants retribution, that he wants Joe Biden to be locked up based on nothing based on no evidence, based on no case, based on no accusation, no indictment, no insurrection, no tax cheating, no insurance fraud, nothing. The closest they can get to Joe Biden is that Hunter Biden has had a, a fairly uh, a tawdry life. And they're not going to be happy until Hunter Biden either relapses or dies so that Joe Biden will lose his will to live. I mean, this is some sick crap, okay? It really is. But there he was on a stage in New York praising every dictator yet again, saying how he admires President Xi. You know, the economy in China is, you know, kind of in the, du the it's, it's in the, the dumpster. It's in a trash heap. People are not doing well in China. China's economy did not bounce back after COVID. Guess who's did? We did. Yeah, different, uh, you know, different type of, uh, you know, uh, governance. But he's admiring, you know, a man who crashed, literally crashed the Chinese economy, admiring a guy who let a virus get out of control, admiring a guy because he has military parades where he gets like uh, the military to salute him. And Donald Trump wants that, too. He wants that, too. So he stands in New York and he goes, you know why I wanted to be a dictator? I'll tell you why. Because I wanted to build a wall. That's why. I want to build a wall and I want to drill baby Joe. You know, America is out drilling. America is out producing every other nation on the planet in energy production. You know that, right? I hope you know that. Because that is such garbage stuff. It's garbage in, garbage out. I mean, if you start with a premise that's false, meaning that America is not energy independent, meaning that America isn't outperforming and outproducing every other nation, meaning that America isn't a exporter of energy, then you're going to get a policy that actually thinks that that was true and acts on that false thing and is going to get a garbage result on the output, right? I, it's just, it, but anyway, the idea that this man is going to have people like me, I mean, I, I don't think I'm that, uh, you, know, uh, you know, on the radar screen, but that he will literally shut down media outlets. He will shut down entire companies unless they start praising him. You know, it's, it's interesting because, you know, this is what Vlad does. This is what she does. They, they have state-run media in, uh, you know, uh, uh, they have state-run media in Russia. They have state-run media in China, okay? Any place where there's an autocrat, 
there is state-run media. You know, when you uh, watch uh, media that comes out of Lebanon or, I don't know, Lebanon so much. It used to be. Uh, you know, it, it, it's, it's state-run media. And he is telling you that the media is your enemy, and so whatever he does to it, that would be good for you. If he killed media, it would be killing your enemy, and therefore you should root for him doing it. And he is literally standing there saying that he's going to uh, get journalists. He's naming them now. Uh, he's going to get, um, you know, uh, uh, politicians. He's naming them. Joe Biden better, you know, be careful what he wishes for. He's not wishing for anything with regard to you, except that he knows that he has to run against you in an uh, election. That's it. He's not doing anything else to you. I mean, it's... And then he, he goes on this little riff here where, I, do you remember the movie A Fish Called Wanda? Do you remember it? You remember uh, Kevin Klein's character? Do you, do you remember the movie A Fish Called Wanda? Oh, yeah. Do you remember Kevin Klein's character? Don't call me stupid. <laughs> remember him? I forgot that movie until you just brought it up. That's a great movie. Yes, ah, I do. Amazing movie. Okay. They used to call me JD. Uh, they made, they said maybe stupid. So I said to Doc Ronnie, you know, Doc Ronnie's now a great congressman in Texas. Great, very popular guy. I think he won by like 52 points or something. But he's now a great congressman. I said, Ronnie, uh, I don't like when people call me stupid. I had great heritage, an uncle who was a great, great genius, a father who was a genius. Everybody, they're all, we have a lot of geniuses. I don't like being called stupid. Is there a test or something I can take? To prove to these radical left maniacs that I'm much smarter than them, is there a test? And he said, sir, there is a test. It's called a X test. I said, what's it like? He said, well, it uh, gets very tough. The first questions are easy, and the middle of the test gets tough, and the end of the test is quite tough. He's still talking about this, okay? You, you know what else reminds me Don't of Don't call me stupid! Did you remember Johnny Dangerously with... Uh... Uh, Michael Keaton and Mary Lou Henner. My mother called me stupid once. 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 That's. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's so it's so obvious that this man is so insecure. He is at his core a nothing burger, a marshmallow, a person who literally lived in fear of his father, a person who never thought that he could live up to what his dad accomplished. And the truth is, he can't. He can't. The man cannot win without cheating. That is why he lost three times, three elections in a row. Midterm election, uh, presidential election, another midterm election. He is a loser, a three-time loser, and he knows it. So all he, all he keeps talking about is, you know, uh, how brilliant he is and how what a genius family he comes from. And he'll take, you know, he, remember the, the man, camera, woman, stop sign thing? He's doing it repeatedly. And I don't know how this crowd stands there and tolerates it. I don't know who I feel worse for, Donald Trump, who is a mess of a human being and knows it, or the people that stand there and listen to these same old stories like grandpa tells, you know, like uh, at Easter, you know, uh, while he hides the eggs. I mean, I, I just, I don't. Okay, so I'm a Jew, so they hide the matzah. And you don't really want to know where grandpa hides that matzah. You really, really do not want to know that. But what is he doing? And what are the people that go to these rallies? What are they doing? How do you tolerate the same bullcrap stories over you know sir same bullcrap stories there is a test you could and the test gets really hard and man camera woman i i don't i don't i don't know who i feel worse for i do have an extraordinary concern for this country however because we could not survive one day of him we will never get rid of him if he gets in for even one day. We will never rid ourselves of him. You know, the, the Trumpism, it's starting to, you know, fade away somewhat. Except for this culty crowd that shows up for these rallies. But if he comes back, I mean, it'll be a variant the likes of which you never saw. Don't have time to listen to the live show? Want to hear more on your schedule? Go to randyroads.com and buy a stinking podcast.